Our Rotbolt selector tool was first launched in English, but we're pleased to announce it's now available in a number of other languages. I'll show you how that works. Once you've loaded up the Rotbolt selector from the EpiRock Ground Support page, the first thing that I'd like to do is just go to the bottom here and expand it to full screen. It's just a bit more user friendly. And you can see at the top here we have the original English, and to the right of that we have a number of languages now. The first one on the list is Spanish, you think of French. Swedish, and Portuguese, all as an option. We hope this will make the tool a lot more friendly for users around the world. I'd like to show you some great new functionality that we've released in the Rockbolt Selector tool. When you open up the Selector tool, it still looks more or less the same as before. We've got the new language options. And we also have these two new buttons at the top. The select option is the selector that helps you identify bolts that you maybe can use in an application. The compare tool takes you through to another web page, which now has a comparison tool for our range of energy absorbing rock bolts. This tool allows you to take different dynamic bolting options and see how they perform relative to each other. The tool's broken up into three main sections. The first section is the bolt categories, so we have bolts that are encapsulated with resin or grout, bolts that anchor primarily through friction, and bolts that anchor through a hybrid combination, so mechanical anchor and friction typically. Below that there's a list of the different bolting options. So at the moment we haven't selected anything, and we have these two graphs below which have a whole load of information on them. The first graph is our typical dynamic response graph. So this is the dynamic load and deformation that we'd expect each of these bolts to provide under a dynamic impact event. And on the right hand side, we have our typical dynamic energy absorption. So this is the typical energy absorbed with deformation for the various bolts. And this gr graph compile, comprises a number of tests that have been conducted on our dynamic impact tester in our research facility. So let's say we have an application where we'd like to use resin encapsulated rock bolts so we'll click on the encapsulated button and you can see the options have narrowed down i'm going to assume that we've had a look at resin capsule anchored bolts on the selector tool and we've identified that the par one resin bolt is a possible option for our application underground if we select the three par one resins being a 20 millimeter 22 millimeter and a 25 millimeter you can see that the graph is now only reflecting the dynamic load and energy absorption results for those three bolts. Just something to note, we've tried to keep the length of the bolts consistent. This just simplifies the comparison, but all these bolts are available in a number of lengths. So if we come in and have a look on the dynamic response graph, we can see that we have three graphs here, all providing different load capacity. The 25 millimeter obviously giving us the highest and the 20 millimeter the lowest dynamic response. If we have information from our ground support plan that says we're looking for a load around 300 kilonewtons, that 25 millimeter bar is clearly too strong. So we can turn that off. And we're left with our graph for our 22 and our 20 millimeter bolt. If you hover on the graph, this little tooltip pops up and it gives you an indication of the likely dynamic load at a particular displacement, as well as the energy that's been absorbed as the bar deforms. As I said earlier, these are typical response curves. If we come across to the right, we can see that we have the results from the energy absorption testing. and. If we decide that we have a 60 kilojoule plus energy requirement at about 200 millimeters of deformation, what's evident from this graph is that the 20 millimeter bolt is maybe a little bit below the specification. So if we turn that off, we should be left with just our 22 millimeter bar. And you can see now that this bolt will in almost all cases Give you an energy capacity above 60. If you want to restart you can just go back, turn off the selections and all bolt options become available again.